Hey everybody and welcome back to Burkru Studios Plays EU4. I'm your host Nems here with Burkru Studios playing EU4 multiplayer. I'm excited today and I'm here with Bob who's also excited today. I am very excited. Doesn't sound like it but I'm very excited. I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. <laughs> Speaking of excitement, if you're excited to watch the series, you should hit a like down below because it helps out a great deal and we appreciate all your feedback. Any comments as well? Um, one of the things we would be curious to see is uh, we, we've been talking amongst ourselves around what the next multiplayer might look like. So if you have any ideas on what you think the new, next multiplayer should look like, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. Because we'd like to know. Yes, please. I'd love to know. What's your thinking? Tell me what's on your mind. Would you like to know more? <laughs> Didn't catch that reference, eh? Ah, uh, Bob. Your pop music. Oh, that's right. We're at war with Naples. I uh, want to know. Yep, uh, we are at war with Naples. Yeah, that's that's where I was up. going. In fact, I know that's where I'm going because I was already mid-movement. I'm going to smash them in Napoli. Taking 46,000 men down there to punch them in the neck. <laughs> well, no one said that you were a nice guy. If there's one thing I would not credit you with, it's being a nice person. Well, that's good. That means you're smart. I, I try. I'm smarter than I look. Mm, that's a low bar. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You brought that on yourself. I uh, kind of. Mm -hmm. You can't throw a softball in the air and then be like, why did you hit that ball? <laughs> it was in the air. I thought that's what you wanted me to do. Did I do it wrong? Did I, yeah. Did I the succession is safe, enough? Ray. Oh, you had succession issues? I guess so. I'm a merchant republic. I don't have that kind of problem. Oh. That must hurt. You. We you. Can't, you can't get any further because there's a fort here in uh, Capitana. That's Capitanata. Fine. I got a two siege guy and Capit not a Capitanata. I'll help, you. I'll help you momentarily. What's the force of there? <laughs> How do I speak? Words do I do are words? difficult for me. All right, so take what we're gonna I do need. is I'm gonna take you away, and I'm gonna go help out Bob. Bob seems like he needs help. Now I still have that war against Switzerland going on as well, and the idea was that I was gonna vassalize them. Um, and then uh, get another war against Austria at the same time, and we we're going to see if that plunged me into a war with the Ottomans since they're war warning me. Oh yeah, that's right. There you go, eight thousand cannons and a two uh, two pip siege leader. That takes care of things. Look at that twenty eight percent. Roll that beautiful bean. Place. Suddenly, suddenly we're now sieging a place. Yes. Uh huh. Try to get us back up to two. So I got a comment uh, on our latest video, which would be part three. Part what now? I lost you, Bob. You there? Hello? No, oh, there you are. Hello. All right, so you got a comment on our latest video. Yes, and uh, the suggestion was from Patrick Grabowski, and they said that we should go invade Africa. Mm. That was the suggestion they made. Yeah, we could go down. And... Which, you know, Tunis is a really big entity, and they're allied with the Ottomans. Wait, I'm allied oh, in war with the Ottomans right now. Sense? Where are the Ottomans fighting? What do you mean they're big? They're geographically very large. Well, and then yeah, they have Africa. a friend in the Ottomans. They have 18,000 troops. Oh, no. <laughs> Which, by the way, we're allied with the Ottomans right now. We? Who are we yeah, allied? in our Not current... Uh, in our oh, war in against our war taking Wurzburg. That is so overkill, man. But <laughs> 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 uh, those alliance or... calls. Here I come, Naples. So you know what that means, though, is I can get the peace with Switzerland. Is coming slowly a, a likelihood because I still have the length of war negative mm -hmm. modifier. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a little while before we can peace out Switzerland to be our vassal. 
for some reason my uh, in my battle menu the uh, the troops don't show up right so I can't actually see if I'm flanking or not and I have to kind of hover over very irritating all right you trying to kick us back up to two again yet yeah let's do it much as I love fighting at speed one <laughs> What's up, Naples Army? Crunch. Time to fight, 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 fight. I just brought 3,400 cannons in and blew them all away. <laughs> How did Mastering the art of moving the cannon and firing it at the same time. Yours truly, Lucka. Yeah. It's just how we roll. All right. Now, the only bad part about occupying all this territory is if someone gives it to us, we will get coalition to all hell. Whoa, well, what's your AE look like? Pretty severe. Oh, you're actually pretty bad. Mm. 73 with Savoy, 41 with France, 56 with Austria. Here's what I'm, I'm actually do. doing too bad. I'm going to hand all this land over to Florence. Feed your vassal. <laughs> Well, I don't think they'll give it to him because I don't think Florence has any claims on it. Uh, Naples just got ceded to the Ottomans. This is all getting ceded to the Ottomans. Um, who are you talking about? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, Luc Lucania and Cosenza are both being... Oh, Florence, or Florence then gave it over to Ottomans. Ottomans. You jerk, Florence. That's all right. They don't have claims on this stuff. Ottomans are not the war leader either. Oh, hooray. I finally got 100% against Switzerland. Really weird that they did that. Mm. Here, Bohemia. And they gave it to the Ottomans. Well, that's if they give all this to the Ottomans, I'll be very upset. <laughs> well, don't give it up, or you can give it to me, dude. I I will have a coalition unlike any ever seen. All right, so let's see what happened here. Hold on. Uh, a lot of things so just they happened. gave you Capitanata? Capitania. Yeah, I'm glad I gave all that up, because if I would have gotten all that, I'd be dead. That, that went well. I think that actually turned out as well as it could have. Yeah, it's not bad at all. But that being said, there's still a war going on. There is Ottomans are just out right now. Or no, I'm sorry, not the Ottomans. Naples. Naples is just out. Yeah, Switzerland at 100%, Naples by the way. Out. Are you going to piece them out? I they am, but I want to. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm just gonna go smash their armies. That's all I'm gonna do. Because right. I want to get my troops back up there, even though Austria only has eleven thousand sitting around. Well, no, that's not gonna matter. I'm just gonna piece them out with it. Mm, that doesn't look to be going too well. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> it's like, uh... And I did not get into war with uh, Austria. Oh, interesting. Well, they show that they peaced out. Oh, that's weird. Strange mechanics. Speaking of, how are we doing? Austria is fighting a hell of a war. They're fighting Burgundy, Bohemia, Brandenburg, Thuringia, Pomerania, Magdeburg, Frankfurt, Bremen, Saxe, Lauenburg, or Lorraine, Bavaria, Flanders, and Circassia. Guess I'll revoke the um, the embargo against your vassal now. <laughs> All right. So who is this? Bunch of people I don't care about. Got it. Bunch of people I don't care about. So who who are we actually fighting? What needs to happen here? Würzburg, Gelray, Liege, uh, Livonian Order, and Riga. Riga. Yep. Are any of these people people nearby that I care about? Not really. Würzburg is the closest thing. Yeah, look Virginia. at that Diplo map. <laughs> We've got Mantua, Lucca, Florence, Ottomans, Bohemia, Commonwealth, Sweden versus Livonia Order, <laughs> Würzburg, Liege, and Gelray. Uh, Commonwealth's not in here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm allied with Sweden. Yeah, you're allied. I'm sorry. Wrong color, brother. Yeah, yeah. Wrong color. Who's the emperor? Mm -hmm. Lubeck. Lubeck's the emperor. We have Lubeck's got three votes. For Ten years now with Naples. That's unfortunate. 
Well, actually, it's not, because <clears throat> that'll let me burn off all this AE I've got. Yeah. So that one province, Capitania? Capit... Capit Anata. Capit Anata. Bleh. Can't say it. Gave me 21% overextension. Oh, yeah. 21 development. Nice province. Yep. And uh, my, my legitimacy is actually 45, so I'm actually got the, I've got the Civil War uh, disaster oh. uh, coming up as a potential thing. That sounds fun. It is the best, let me tell you. All it right. is the best. It's the best around. Nothing is ever going to get you down. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what's our what's our next plan then? Um, we could go after the Pope. Yeah. I could go after the Pope. I don't know what your next plan is. <clears throat> but I still want to. I should wait. <clears throat> well, I'm I'm limited in what I can do because I'm being warned by the Ottomans. Oh, that's right. And Austria is your neighbor. They are, but they're, they're and also, the Ottoman neighbor too. So I will, <clears throat> I will fabricate, on, fabricate. I will fabricate on Wallace. <laughs> fabricate Claytonism. Wallace, Wallace, Wallace. Justificationalisticism. Oh, you dig? I dig. I'm jive with that. There we go. Upgrade my infantry array. I like upgrading infantry. That's fun. Should I turn Switzerland into a march? You think? Mm, you could. I don't know that you should. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the only advantage I would say is they do have some cores up in Austrian land right now. So you might want to hold on to them for a little bit. But I can tell you from uh, now two uh, different series where I've done the March thing. Oh, boy, that takes a long time to undo. <laughs> <laughs> a long time. Uh, I don't have any active ideas right now. Can you believe that? Oh, a rebel uprising is about to happen. Montferrat. Well, let's go stand on their heads. And try for speed three again. Yeah, let's try that. Don't know if it'll let us, but we can give it a shot. Mm hmm. You still feeling rebellious? Yes, you are. That's fine. You're loud. So, interestingly enough. Interestingly. So, I, I could I could declare war on Austria, and the Ottomans would not answer the call because they are fighting a war on the same side as the enemy. Enemy. Ah. So I'm not sure. But what can you do to Austria? Well, I would just take territory from them. That's all I would do. And you're going to get coalitioned. Probably. <laughs> There's no probably. Even Spain has 22 AE against you right now. Yeah, they do. Okay, Northern I guess Germany. Bob will just sit here on his hands. I mean, you're welcome to. I, I don't care. I can decline the call oh, when they do that. Cologne took territory from Brandenburg. Oh. Oh, my. So I think they did. All right, there's Riga. Oh, the Protestant the League War is on right now. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's why there's so much. I'm trying to turn down to speed one for a second. That's why there's so much conflict going on in the H area right now. It's because the League War is going on. So this is actually a pretty opportune time if we want to do anything. Except for all the AE we have. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but any coalition that comes up, but, I don't think would be worth anything. I wouldn't think so anyway. Well, I think the only there's only two moves we can make right now, and um, that's Austria or the Pope, because we've got truces with Savoy, and um, I mean you could go after Styria, I guess, if you wanted, but they've got lots of allies. Styria. Styria is also an odd well, a whole Ottoman neighbor thing. I think we established doesn't matter. And that would put me at odds yeah. with Spain as well if I did that. Yeah, I mean, Austria is the easiest one. Bavaria, what do you look like? Bavaria is not a bad choice. I'm going to fabricate Austria some claims on Bavaria. Austria has troops right now. Yeah? 
Literally zero. That's their total ma total troops. They have 6,000 manpowers and zero troops. No one that out there. So tempting. <laughs> so tempting. <laughs> but all that AE. <laughs> yeah. That AE. It is unfortunate. Ottomans. How many troops do the Ottomans have running around right now? Ottomans, 139,000 with a force limit of 164, with 125 in reserve. My god. Oh my goodness. We could not be at war, though. That'd be awesome. All this is just over Bohemia wanting to take Würzburg. That's all this yep. is. In fact, what does this map look like right now? So Austria is at war with Circassia, Bohemia, Brandenburg. There goes Liege. Burgundy. We're down to Gelra and the Livonian Order. And the Livonian Order is siege to all hell. The Ottomans have uh, uh, about 100,000 troops running around Livonian land right now. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> That's not a good thing if you're uh, Livonian Order. No. No, it's not. Well, I'm still down for punching Austria, frankly. And I'm going to make that happen now, I think, because the Ottomans are otherwise engaged. All right. I just got a claim on Wallace. <laughs> nice. Also known as the only Austrian territory in my trade now. Boom, boom. Oh, my army. Uh, the Ottomans didn't come in. Ah! <laughs> Hooray. I thought we knew that already. Disturbed why was, me a little I bit. You're like, oh, yay. I wasn't I'm like, oh, wait, why, what? Why was that a question? Well, I wasn't 100% oh, sure if they would Warsburg. come in or not, so. See you, Orsberg. Did they eat them all? They ate them all. You greedy. Well, there were only one province anyway, so oh, it didn't really matter that much. Lubeck is, that's right. Yeah. Why is Lubeck still getting all these votes when they're failing to do anything to protect the Empire? How much do you suck I think that you're I th not the Emperor? I, I think it's more so that they just don't want to vote for anybody else. Either everyone else is Protestant or they're a rival, I think. <laughs> mm. <laughs> or otherwise you're fighting a war against them. Yeah, there's that. Now if the, uh, so who's the leader of the Protestant League? Burgundy, eh? They're winning that war, so if they win that war and they go Protestant, you can become the Emperor again. I could. I don't know how they're winning that war. It seems crazy to me that that group of people is beating this group of people. The Protestants beating the Catholics? Yeah. I mean, the Catholics have the Emperor, Cologne, which is pretty big. They've got Hungary, they've got Austria, they've got Denmark, they've got uh, Portugal. Holland. They've got a pretty good brunch. And uh, outside of Burgundy, well, they have Bohemia. That's the big thing. They have Bohemia and Brandenburg. But the rest of them are all just small. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm not paying attention. Like, what's happening? <laughs> oh, that's right. They're in that war, so. Yep. Oh, the numbers change significantly. Nope, still plus 48. Plus 48 for the Protestants. Go Protestants, go. You can do it. We will silently observe. Take advantage. <laughs> Which guy do I have there? Two siege pips, okay. And I'm probably taking attrition here, aren't I? Uh, yes, I am. But not a lot. 
Where am I? Oh, there we are. Taking the long way through all of Austria to get to Zurich. <laughs> Stupid forts. <laughs> uh, so let me see if they have any more troops. Be careful, the knights might come up and attack us. God, Austria is a mess. We just destroyed them, man. That one war was the end of Austria. That uh, first one where, we, where I took Tyrol and made them yeah, via a plant shoot? Cut them in half and everything. Play them in half. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's no fun if you're you're Austria right now. Mm -mm. They have a core on this one as well, so I'll give uh, Zurich to you. Or I'll give it to uh, Switzerland. Yeah. What are you doing over there, Florence? They're guarding, uh, you know, Oberschwaben really well. Uh, they brought 4,000 troops to the fight. They're no slouch. Or we're actually more than that. They brought five, 8,000 to the fight. Switzerland's even roaming around with them, too. Our vassals are working together. <laughs> that cute. How, how heart-wrenching. How heartwarming, rather. Not heart-wrenching. Or heartwarming. There we go. How horrible. They're working together. <laughs> I don't want to see that kind of nonsense. <sighs> you morons. I could drag the Commonwealth into this, but we're not going to because we don't Saint, need to. So St. Gallen and Graubünden are also Swiss scores. Sweet. Mm hmm. I, mean, I still I still suffer my self aggressive expansion when I uh, give do. territory to a vassal, but because it used to be not that way, where you could just throw everything at a vassal and they would get all the uh, aggressive expansion, you wouldn't get any. Oh yeah, but paradox Back has in fixed the that. Slightly sense. cheaty, cheaty <laughs> days. Yes. Yeah. Back before we had things like you know zone of control for forts and mm -hmm. uh, you know stuff like that. Uh, here's some more Swiss land for you. Hooray! Mm -hmm. All the Swiss land. Tasty. What kind of buildings can I build out here, I wonder? What more can I build? What more should I build? That is a great point. Siege of Wallace is over. Workshop, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, workshop. Build a workshop. Because I'm just rolling in cash is the thing. I gotta be able to spend it on something. I usually find if you don't spend your cash, you're gonna have a lot of it taken away at some point through you know successive events and such. So, right. I find it best to try to spend it where you can. Yeah. Like having a big war chest is great if you plan on having a huge mercenary army, which is something you and I have kind of been doing this series. But yeah. All right, so just about done here. Go, Florence, do my bidding. Well, I'll have to find out what uh, what bidding that is exactly in the next episode. So we'll catch you guys later. Thanks, everybody.